It's nearly time to collect the harvest in Afghanistan's Helmand province, where poppy fields are considered both beautiful and dangerous. The crop is widely used to make heroin. Farmers like Gull say selling it is the only way to make ends meet. Farming wheat doesn't earn us enough money. It's not as profitable as poppy. Economically, we've been badly hit, and that's why we've no other option but to plant poppies. Afghanistan is the world's top opium producer. It accounts for about 10 percent of its economy. A kilo of wheat is sold for about 50 cents, whereas a kilo of opium poppies can go for more than $100. If there was an alternative way to feed our families, we wouldn't have to cultivate this crop. But if we don't find another way, we would defend this with guns and our lives. Otherwise, we have to flee to Pakistan, Iran or even Tajikistan for work. And even that's not possible because they will send us back. The Taliban has long been accused of taxing drug traffickers. Some estimates predict the group made $20 million in 2020 from the illicit trade. After taking control of the country last year, it pledged to crack down on poppy farmers. But now it says they will be left alone, at least for now. We won't take any action against the farmers until we find them proper alternatives. They already have so many problems and we don't want to create more. So we're working to find an appropriate solution with the help of the international community. Afghanistan's economy is on the verge of collapse. Sanctions and the Taliban's lack of international recognition are making an already dire humanitarian crisis worse. We plant and cultivate poppy because we don't have any other option. Those who have farms plant poppy in their farms and the ones who don't work for landowners. The illicit trade is intertwined with Afghanistan's economy. Now it continues to grow despite attempts of resistance at home and abroad. Katia Lopez Odoyan, Al Jazeera.